We said yesterday the market was dumping and we knew exactly why. Therefore, it's no surprise that we see a big green candle of a 3.5% back up on BTC. What's going on? Why is it pumping? Well, guess what? I've got just the information for you in this video. And how much higher are we going to see this little rally for Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments down below. But until then, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. So many of you will remember this chart from yesterday. We were looking at the price of BTC. We actually draw this line here, which was a 4.5% correction, which we generally see in the month of September. And we did head down to it. Now, interestingly enough, we pretty much hit that support at 57,000 and bounced fully back to the upside. Now, many of you that were here yesterday, and thank you for all the support on that video, by the way. If you do enjoy the video and it does help out the channel, hit that like button, comment down below, all of that good stuff. But we did get a very interesting bounce and we are literally pushing the 200 exponential moving average. The question is why? What's going on? And before we answer that fully, we have to understand what's coming and the global side of things when it comes to cryptocurrency. So specifically this, the global money supply is on the way up. The blue line is the global money supply. Now, the reason this is important is it takes monetary value from things like Bank of China, Bank of Russia, pretty much every bank around the world to give a view as to exactly where we sit. And what we can say is the money supply is increasing. The orange line, the price of Bitcoin. As we see the money printers go on, use, people use Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation. The value kit stays the same. This is why we tend to see an uptrend when it comes to BTC. So the money printer goes on or the money supply goes up. We change generally therefore see with volatility the price of bitcoin rally you can see here as this move in 2017 2018 we got the top for btc are we about to move again to the upside lots of people believe so also crypto arrows shouting out here says bitcoin is mirroring the 2016 2017 pattern with a similar consolidation period this was right before btc skyrocketed from a thousand dollars to twenty thousand a solid 20x the reach 100k is a mere 2x you're crazy if you think BTC will only 2x by the end of year 2025. And I've been talking specifically about where I think Bitcoin's going to go, where I think the overall cryptocurrency market's going to go, and it's hard to not see what's going on. Now, if you remember, we talked about whale hunting. We talked about specifically hedge funds, market makers trying to dump positions to liquidate retail, liquidate these big hedge funds. And we saw a similar thing today. Now, not to the same extent, just to give you an idea, about 17% up in total volume on the day. But we did actually see some pretty solid ones. 200K there with Doge, 231K with a BTC, just over $900,000 there on BTC, a futures liquidation of 59,000. Why is this important? I hear you ask. Why is liquidations so pivotal in the market right now and you only have to take a look at what's going on with a couple of these trading funds this is galaxy digital we keep an eye on this for quite some time again just to understand what is happening now what i can tell you is interestingly the correlation between the stable coin held and the fluctuation pretty much directly correlates to the price of Bitcoin. You can see here back at the 18th of August, etc. When you look at the price on here, where we're sitting, we were sitting at these kind of nice highs here, holding the 50 day simple moving average. We came down. What did Galaxy Digital do? They started to buy some more USDT. Well, more recently, we actually see an outflow. And again, we see some huge amounts. It's 5 million, 5 million, 1 million, 3 million. You may ask yourself the question, why was there such a large amount of outflows yesterday? The reality is the price of Bitcoin was very low. And guess what? Galaxy Digital bought Bitcoin at the bottom. They actually bought a significant amount. They're up nearly $6 million on their purchasing of BTC. They were buying going crazy yesterday. And you may be thinking, okay, two bit, I get that, but you can't use one example to prove your point. Well, Jump Trading is another one, $336 million here. And they did exactly the same thing. You see the sharp decline on USDT holdings and the increase in BTC and everything else directly correlating to this move. So when we talk about understanding the market, we talk about why things are happening. This is critical to make sure that you make the right decisions. Lots of people, retail, would have been nervous about this pump. We knew what was coming. You guys knew what was coming by watching this channel. And then absolutely, we bought at the bottom. I've been buying way for many of you that know this in my live streams, just to try and trade it. Now, what does that mean in the long run? September the 18th cannot come soon. We have a Fed rate 
Cup. Now, we could go one of two ways. Depending on how Jerome comes out, if he's bullish, then we absolutely could get an upside move. Lots of people predicting a significant trend towards the back end of September. Is September going to be the month that we finally break the curse, the historic curse of the month of September? And this could be a very interesting point for us. Not only do we have rate cuts, not only do we have many other aspects as well, but this could absolutely trigger a unique proposition when it comes to September. History tells us Q3 tends to be the most challenging part. September will, in my opinion, be a month to remember. And again, we'll see what that plays out, but you know we're going to keep you updated with all what you need to know in this crazy cryptocurrency market. So make sure you hit that like button, turn your notification bell on, drop down in the comments. Do you think September is bullish or bearish? Let me know, as always, in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching the video and all the support recently. You guys are amazing. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.